Thomas, Timothy, and Percy were all looking at the early morning sky. You know, everyone's so much happier when springtime comes. Everyone accepts her top hat, Thomas. I'm just saying this because he makes us work harder than ever. And I just don't understand why. He just wants to make sure everything is ready for the holidays, Timothy. Anyway, salty air makes me feel all cheerful in my smoke box. Not for James. You see, it's the countryside that gets him all fired up. Yeah, tell me about it. He always says it's the only place to be. However, you could be right, Percy. Sir Todd Matt just wants everything prepped for spring. Anyway, I have to go now. See engines later. Bye, Timothy. About a half hour later. Ah, <sighs> what a beautiful morning. Good morning, Edward. Good morning there, Thomas. So, Edward, I just need to ask, do you have any plans? No, actually, I'm just here at the station. Why do you ask? Well, listen, I was wondering if you could do me a favor. Okay, shoot. You see, the branch line is open today, and I'm supposed to vote Annie and Clarabelle, but the thing is, I promised Percy I'd help him at the scrapyard. There are a lot of trucks that need to be shunted for the bigger engines. Apparently, that's what we have to do. So, I was just wondering, could you take Annie and Clarabelle for me today? I'm surprised, Thomas. You want someone to take your coaches for you. Yeah, well, I'm on, I'm kind of on a tight schedule. So can you? Why, sure, Thomas. But I have one, qu actually two questions. Why me, and why not someone like Timothy? Well, the reason why you, Edward, is because you're new here. You were only in one episode last time, and I just want you to feel welcome. That's kind of you, Thomas. I really think so. And the second question is, why not Timothy? Well, that's the thing. I would have gotten Timothy, but he's busy dealing with James's fuel tankers, and the second reason for that is just because... The thing is, Blue Steel 42 never made a wooden railway model of Timothy. Wait, what? Yeah, and you're serious about this? Yep, in fact, I think he's coming here now. Hey, guys. I see. Yeah. So you can still do that for me? Of course, Thomas. Where are they? Oh, they're just right behind you in that siding over there. Oh. Well, how convenient. Yeah. <laughs> Thomas, where are my express coaches? I've been waiting half an hour for them. Um, Gordon? Blue Steel 42 also never grew up with express coaches. What? And he grew up with Annie and Clarabelle, but not any express coaches for me. First is Edward, now coaches. What's to become of this railway? Oh my god. This is getting too confusing. Yeah, I think you better best be off, Thomas. Yeah, I think so, too. Anyway, thank you so much again, Edward, and I'll see you later. Okay, bye, Thomas. Bye. After doing work, they noticed something in the sidings. It was an old coach, and she looked very sad. What are you doing here? They called me Old Slow Coach, and they told me I wasn't useful anymore. Now only the mice ride in me. Well, you may be old, but you're still in really good shape. An engine of ours actually could use someone like you. Just then, the yard manager appeared. Alright, now first off, I want to thank you guys for dealing with shunting and holding these trucks for other engines. Second of all, come along now. I have some freight cars for you to actually take away. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Before we go, I have one quick question. Okay, shoot. Can you tell us about this coach? Why, yes, this is old slow coach. She's actually been here for years, and she'll be broken up. When we find the time, the engines felt terrible. We'll try and help you. I just don't know how.
Meanwhile, James had been enjoying himself. This is great! But it wasn't. One of the cars apparently was starting to leak. Suddenly, it caught fire! Oh my god! They reached the siding, and the fireman called for help. It's fuel, and it's dangerous! When Thomas and Percy arrived, they noticed a smoke and a guard waving the red flag. What's going on? Sparks from James's funnel had set the cars ablaze. The fire is being controlled, but it's quite a mess. A bit more! You said the countryside got you all fired up, James. And I guess this is one way to put it. I just didn't know you meant it in this way. Oh, shut up, Percy. It was a stupid car's fault, not mine. Right, you lot. It's safe to proceed now. Suddenly, now both Thomas and Percy felt sorry for James. Later, the two little engines were filling up at water towers. Isn't this refreshing, Percy? Yes, it is, Thomas. And you want to know something? Sure, what? When we were with James and the firefighters were there, I could have sworn I saw their fire trucks, but they were actually go-karts. Really? Huh. Well, we'll have to check that out next time there's a fire. But suddenly, an alarm rang. What's the matter, driver? There's another fire at the workman's hut. Well then, we better see what we can do. Suddenly, they had a huge problem. We are completely out of water, and we can't use seawater because it clogs our works. Then we'll have to let that building burn. Wait, not too soon. We can you can use the water in our tanks. We just refilled them. Great. So they wasted no time. Yeah. You two are very clever engines. Well, it was definitely Thomas's idea, but I'll definitely take part of credit for it. First off, screw you, Percy, and secondly, that's actually kind of funny. Thanks. No joke, though, this was actually Thomas's idea in the original episode. Soon the fire was dealt with, but the hut had been completely damaged, and it's pretty obvious because there was literally a freaking fire. But we sure as hell aren't going to sleep on a beach. But then Percy realized he could do something. What about old slow coach? She'll be perfect for the workmen. Yeah, that's right, Percy. She'll also be comfy, too. What a good idea, Percy. It looks like she can be used again after all. They phoned Sir Topham Hat, who loved the idea. She'll be spick and span by the time Thomas and Percy collect her. And so she was. I can't thank you enough. I feel splendid. And so they set off for Old Slow Coach's new home. Gordon even had himself a brand new express coach. Um, Thomas, this looks nothing like an express coach to me. Well, just be grateful you have a coach, you idiot. Okay, okay, I'm grateful. And also, about the coaches. Edward took good care of Annie and Clarabelle for Thomas. But he seems to be doing it a lot recently. Let's find out why before the outro. Hello, Thomas. Hello, Edward. Thank you for taking care of my passengers for me. Anytime. So, Annie and Clarabelle, how were you two? We had a great time, Thomas. Edward was very kind. Now, Thomas, before I give you Annie and Clarabelle, I have one quick question. Why do you say you want me to take Annie and Clarabelle so much? Well, it's because old slow coach... You see, 
I now have to shunt coaches for Gordon now, because he refuses to fetch his own because he's so lazy. That's understandable. And second, about old slow coach, the thing is, she wants me and Percy to take the express for Gordon for a good reason. Why is that? Well... <coughs> Shut up, old slow... Yeah. Well, this has given Gordon a lot to think about, and now there is a huge mess to clean up.